Snapshot 24W45A is out with changes to cat and dog breeding, tweaks to the winter drop content, and lots of bug fixes. My name is Sliced Lime and this is a showcase of the changes. Let's start with mobs and with the cat and dog breeding changes. The color of the collar of a kitten or puppy is now a mix of the color of its parents' collars, the same way a lamb gets his wool color as a mix of its parents. A laze holding an item for a player can no longer be set on fire by that player using a sweeping edge fire aspect sword. Mob preferences for picking up items have changed. Some mobs now have preferred weapon types, bows for skeleton variants, crossbows for piglins and pillagers, and tridents for drowned. Any armor item a mob considers picking up is now preferred according to its base armor value, its base armor toughness value, having more enchantments, how undamaged it is, and if it has a custom name. Any main hand item is now preferred according to it being a main hand weapon, having a higher base damage value, having more enchantments, how undamaged it is, and if it has a custom name. And an ender dragon bug fix. When killed, the hitboxes of the dragon's body parts now stick to the dragon through its death animation. In winter drop news, the resin clumps are no longer used as an armor trim material. Instead, resin bricks are now used. A player's dog attacking a creaking now causes it to spawn resin clumps, and so does having a player-lit TNT explode near one. Skulk sensors now activate from resin clumps being placed by a creaking heart, with a frequency of 13 for blocks being placed. Resin clumps are now correctly mirrored when looking at their backside. Woodland Mansion loot chests can now only contain resin clumps, not resin bricks. And you can now place resin clumps between an enchanting table and a bookshelf without blocking the power increase. A naturally spawned creaking heart no longer drops XP when broken in creative mode, and creaking hearts placed underwater no longer place spawning sounds on a loop. Hitting a creaking heart with a wind charge no longer instantly kills its connected creaking. Creakings no longer take knockback. They could previously be knocked back by wind charges, mace smashes, punch bows, zoglin attacks and explosions. And the eyes of a creaking are now visible when the creaking has the invisibility effect. Eye blossoms are now found at the end of the flowers in the creative inventory, and their subtitles and map colors now correctly indicate their open or closed state instead of the opposite. The open eye blossom is now equally emissive when placed in a flower pot as on the ground. Bees no longer interact at all with closed eye blossoms. They don't seek out closed eye blossoms for nectar, cannot be tempted by a closed eye blossom, and don't get poisoned by a closed eye blossom. In gameplay news, suspicious stew effect times have been changed. The time has been reduced by one second for fire resistance from Allium, regeneration from Oxide Daisy, jump boost from Cornflower, Wither from Wither Rose, and poison from Lily of the Valley. The time has been reduced 2 seconds for weakness from all kinds of tulips, and increased 3 seconds for blindness from Azure Bluette. Pick Block now works properly on decorated pots and shulkers instead of always keeping their entire inventory, and Control in Pick Block now properly copies the honey level of bee nests and hives. Some sprinting follow ups in this version as well. Sprinting is now cancelled when getting blinded, and when flying with Elytra. And when starting to ride something. A fix has also been made for not being able to start swimming when crouched under a slab. And using an item underwater no longer forces you to exit swimming mode. Fall damage is no longer ignored for a couple of seconds when loading into a single player world or LAN server. And trial spawners now properly save the mob type when it is assigned by a creative mode player using a spawn egg. Instamining blocks now once again works when standing inside a cobweb. And the trident use statistics now properly increases when throwing a trident. In visual news, trial spawners no longer keep flashing after their cooldown ends. Just like with resin clumps, skulk veins are now correctly mirrored when viewed from behind. Hanging signs now once again have their chains. And experience orbs no longer bounce. User interface fixes in this version. The scroll bar in the telemetry data screen now has a proper background. The experiments screen no longer has text disappear off screen when viewed in certain window sizes. 
and the empty slots in the Programmer Art Resource Pack now show the old icons once again. In addition to that, this version also comes with several stability fixes, including for a crash when explosions happened near a creaking in its death animation, a crash when trying to use the Void Superflat preset, a crash when using a loom, and a problem causing all containers from worlds created with certain Minecraft versions to become locked. This snapshot also brings us data pack version 59 and resource pack version 44, with a massive change to item models with lots of new capabilities. If you're also interested in that, keep an eye on the channel for a separate video. But that's all for this time. Thank you, dollar viewer name, for your interest in dollar video name. Please, dollar call to action right now. My name is Sliced Lime. I'll see you next time.